Hello everybody, this is a quick tutorial video on how to uh, unlock your bootloader on the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, there's a thread on XDA on how to do it, and it's a very simple process, and I thought I'd just walk you through it. Um, first of all, they do have a one-click method, uh, but you need to use Linux to use it, and this can also root your phone for you. However, in order to use this one-click method, you need to have Linux on your computer or use uh, Windows Ubuntu Installer or Wubi, which is just a Windows, or excuse me, a uh, Linux environment that you can use right from your desktop. And you can download off that off the page if you want to use the one-click method. However, I find it to be more um, convenient to just use uh, the terminal and enter the one line of code that's required. So that's the emphasis I'm going to put on this tutorial. Um, so, in order to do it that way, all you need to do is download this file right here, which is the unlocked bootloader image. It's called aboot.img. And once that's downloaded, um, you're going to want to put it on your cell phone. So, here's the file, aboot.img. And here are the two areas. We have the SD card and the internal storage of the phone. I like to put things on my SD card, so that's where I'm going to put things. But uh, as long as you remember where you put the file, it shouldn't be a problem. So it's put on the external SD card of my phone. Once that's done, uh, you need to enter that one line of code uh, on your phone. Now, uh, you can use an Android Terminator, uh, excuse me, Android Terminal Emulator that you can download off the Google Play Store to enter that code. However, I like entering things on my computer and as I can read them better and it's easier to type. And it's also a very simple process to just use the Android Debug Bridge to enter this line of code. Um, and in order to do that, you just need a, um, a group of files called the Platform Tools, which is the Android Debug Bridge. And you can download those off of my blog. I have them right here. Download the Platform Tools. You just click this file, and it should download, and it's in the .7z format. So you just need Win uh, um, 7-zip to extract it, and then just put it on your desktop, and you should be good to go. Once you have those two downloaded, and you have the image file on your phone. Just open up your command prompt here. And first of all, we're going to change our directory to the platform tools. And once we're here, we're going to initialize the Android debug bridge. So to do that, I just type ADB devices. And this makes sure that your phone is connected to the computer properly and ready to go. Should be listed right here. That's my cell phone, and that means it's ready to go. Once we're ready to go, we just type in ADB shell and we get the um, terminal for the Android. Now, if you have the terminal emulator from the uh, Google Play Market, this would be um, essentially the same thing. Uh, and if you see this pound sign right here, that means we have super user access. And so you need to be rooted for this to work. If you don't have super user access at the time, you're going to see a um, dollar sign, and that means that you don't have super user access. So all you need to do is type SU, and that will bring you to the super user prompt which looks like that. Once we have uh, the super user prompt, we just need to use uh, one command, which is the dd command, which is basically a uh, copy command, and it needs an entry point and an exit point. Uh, and to finish the command, we type if equals, then the location where the file is. Now the file is called aboot.img, and we put it on the external SD card. So that location is external SD aboot. Dot img. Now we need an output, which is of equals, and then the location is dev block mmc block 0p5. And that command should look familiar if you had been following my videos. I think we did it for the flashing of the clockwork mod recovery. Hit enter, and we're done. The uh, bootloader is now unlocked. That's all there was to it. Um, if you put the aboot.img file on the um, internal storage of the phone, the command will look slightly different, and uh, you can I'll have that in the description. But uh, once this is done, you just type reboot, and the phone will reboot, and uh, your bootloader will be unlocked, ready to flash unsigned kernels. Um, as I said, it's a pretty simple process, and that was all there was to it. So thanks for watching.